materials. So um, the main material that we use is, is made by Nova Color Paint, which is kind of like an industry standard. It's a really, really tough paint film and also a paint that makes touch-ups to murals really, really easy. Um, and so uh, it has like a really high vibrancy, high chroma, and, and weather and light resistance and stuff. Um, I think that it would be, you know, I haven't done a lot of murals like by the by the ocean in that sense. And so I, you know, I know that this is the same paint that they use for projects out on the West Coast uh, in a very similar kind of environment. But um, I'd be, be happy to also talk to the manufacturer, make sure if there's anything that we would need to get. Um, otherwise, you know, we yeah yeah. But I was say the other nice thing about Nova Color is they give you specific information about the light path, and so we can use and typically do use just the most light path things, so we don't have to worry as much about dating either. So. Okay. So, yeah. Great. Um, if you were to uh, be awarded this mural, um, we've got this meeting tonight. We're hopeful that we will be able to come to a decision. You're one of seven finalists. Uh, we had well over 60 applicants that made it through. Um, we will take this to the CRA, which is the kind of uh, parent agency, if you will. They will look at and approve this tentatively um, Monday night, and then we're looking to get this to City Council sometime in June. So if you were to be awarded this in June, how soon could you realistically start, and then what do you think your timeline would be for a project of this size? Uh, starting, I feel like, at least with my schedule, I feel like uh, it would start pretty soon. Yeah, I think we both have pretty good summer availability right now, and so um, obviously there's some logistics in terms of like ordering in the paint and everything depending on that date and, and making the travel arrangements and stuff but um, we should be able to fit it in quite promptly maybe as soon as we could get all of those logistics organized as soon as we have the green light so we, we don't have anything scheduled in that kind of like peak summer slot at the moment um, and as far as the uh, timeline for doing it um, it's, um, it's 135 feet long. It, uh, I'm not sure exactly how tall we were looking at it, maybe thinking somewhere around 16 to 18 feet. I think it's right between 18 and 20, yeah. So maybe somewhere in like the 2,500 square foot range. Mm -hmm. like that. I mean, uh, assuming good weather. Like yeah, like I mean, you're great. Yeah, I would say like probably a little <laughs> over a week. Yeah. Oh, okay. To the project. Yeah, it could be, it, it sort of depends a little bit on um, I mean, really just sort of the, the, the weather, you know, I, I, would, I would, in my own schedule, I would probably set aside like, you know, two weeks with also like a rain check plan and all that kind of stuff, but um, we would both be working on the project and, and full, full time because we would be there to, to work on it, so um, uh, have, you know, usually put in pretty long days on a project like this to try to consolidate the time in which it's going up um, okay. to get it done if possible. Yeah. Great. Um, and then one thing that we have done with our first mural we completed and that we would love to do with this one is to ask the <coughs> artist uh, team to be available for a year after the completion just for a little maintenance touch-up should we have, I don't know, God forbid, somebody mess something up on it or whatever it may be, would you guys be willing to um, have that in the contract? Yeah, ab absolutely. And, and that's, again, a nice thing about that paint that we use is that um, it makes touch-ups really, really easy. It's not like a complex process, you know, so the paint remains open, which just allows, allows repairs to happen really easily, which could either be done by us within that time frame, or also I've, I've done projects where I coordinate with somebody else on site yep. with the exact <laughs> specifications and stuff to, yep. to facilitate that, so. Okay, perfect. Um, and then the committee, again, the first one we did, uh, we made some minor changes in edits. We kept the same overall concept, but we worked with the artist after we awarded the contract to kind of tweak it. Are you guys open to making you know minor changes in edits to the overall concept? Yeah, exactly. I think the design that we have right now, so you can, uh, uh, there's room in there to kind of uh, add some more specific specificity or, or okay. talk about some things you want but yeah, I don't think that would be a problem. Okay, perfect. Um, and then the last question we've got for you guys is, you know, really what inspired you um, to apply for this and kind of what inspired the design I mean, I can, I can say at least, yeah, for me, like, just seeing that wall, I mean, you, you don't always get to work on a wall that's, that's that unique, and I saw that wall and immediately uh, was thinking that uh, a sort of wave, like, work perfectly for that, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, that's pretty, pretty cool. And I think also both of us have an interest in our studio work and also in the kinds of mural projects that we're applying for right now, in, in projects that really like marry the environmental context of, of the location of the mural with, with the work itself. And so this just felt like a pretty amazing opportunity as a community that knows its assets and resources in terms of the environment and then um, a wall that uh, just felt like it really uh, dovetailed with that in a really cool, cool and unusual way. Yeah, I also recently in February, so my uh, girlfriend, her family is in uh, Oman, so I guess oh, okay. I kind of witness a lot of the same kind of um, vibe that we were going yeah. for in that. So. Yeah, we're not far from there. Um, the, yeah, you know, I don't think we do. I think that the, all, all the documents and everything that you guys had outlined the scope of the project pretty clearly. And so certainly if we were awarded the project, some logistical questions and, and help with, you know, identifying, you know, uh, lift rentals or anything that, you know, people okay. organizations we might enjoy working with, but usually we do all that ourselves, you know. Um, so uh, I don't think I have any real questions. I mean, I think we're both excited for the design that we put forth, but also interested and, and enthusiastic to hear what feedback you guys might have and, and work with that feedback. If, if, there, if there are other ideas or additions or tweaks to that design, that's always an exciting part of the process to work together and make sure that the project really feels right for you guys and in your community. So okay. Perfect. Not really, I'm not exactly a question. <laughs>
ended up submitting um, for the full mural. So we've got a beach scene and then some, you know, local florals, and then you've got a dolphin, and this kind of rolls into that wave where we've got some surfers. Um, a lot of vibrant colors, I will say, I feel that these colors do really encompass our brand standard colors without it being like painfully obvious that it's the brand standards. Um, so I really appreciate that. They took the time to really look at what our brand colors are. And they are local. They are in Jacksonville. They are. They are. Can I check out? Do you want us to grade these? I, w I mean, definitely make notes. Definitely write down pros, cons, things you like, things you didn't like. Because um, at the end of this, we can really all kind of discuss together your notes. Um, I'm honestly just writing technical stuff, just their technical questions and any feedback. So yes. feel free to grade score however you see fit. Um, we will get started in just a second. All right. Yeah, these are like a little rapid fire today. <coughs> My gosh, as we were talking, I'm like, oh, I might not have given us enough time if it's just <laughs> 10 minutes. Like, geez. You're doing great. Questions obviously are going to be a little repetitive, but you're doing great. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm excited for this one. This was the cake one was really fun to watch go up, but this is going to be really fun to watch this go up because this is yeah. a large uh, mural. So this candidate and then the following candidate immediately after this. Is this, the, is, is this the young lady that was here? Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Okay. Whatever, um, UV rays. 
Yeah. Can we, I just address the ceiling? Sure. I, I just wanted to say, yes, we are. And um, we, we are local to the beaches, so we paint out down in that area often. And we use a single part urethane. We've used it for years. And not only is the spray paint we use one of the best on the market, which has like a superior life fastness or durability. It has the best durability due to its penetration and spray. So just off the bat, the paint has an like is really good. And then we always at least with this job, we will definitely add that single part urethane and multiple coats, which will double the life of the painting just with, just off the bat. And then with maintenance, it can extend the life even further. Yeah, um, we we are we do have availability at that time in June, um, and we also have availability to start on design process if our committee wants to talk about that. Um, and um, I'll let Ian talk about how long it would take. Yeah, this will be our top priority when we <laughs> um, if we're awarded, and we have a team of artists that will be uh, available at that time. Um, you know, there's multi, it's a multi-phase process, at least that's how we describe it. And our first phase is a planning, design, and materials phase, which would give also the art committee the opportunity to make additions or subtractions from the design we've submitted. And that would be a one to two week phase, dependent on especially materials, so some, we would source most of the materials through local vendors, but some of those I know with this project that's large will take time for them to be ordered because no one's going to have this amount of paint on hand. Yeah. So I see that being a one to two week process, phase two, um, which would be the painting, then getting like confirmation from the art committee that everything looked great, like looked to expectation, and then sealing, that would be a three to four week project, and also include the option for community engagement. And I think Daniel would like to say something about that at some point. Do you want okay. to say something now? No, I'll wait for the okay. question. Okay. And phase, that would be three to four weeks, and then phase three, we, is pretty much entirely optional, but it's a community engagement. I'm gonna let Danielle talk about that. Well, I, I was thinking we would get through the questions and then we can. Okay, we'll okay. talk. Well, um, phase three is optional and it has to do with community engagement. Okay, perfect. Um, and then I'm gonna go out of order on my end, so committee, I'm gonna jump to question four since we already kind of touched on this. Um, one of the questions is, are you open to minor changes and edits based on the concept submitted, which you guys have said that, yeah, you would be willing to um, meet with us, work with us on making some tweaks. Okay. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Even, I would say, a major change, which would be maybe one of the elements was switched out if it didn't quite fit, we would okay. be able to, we'd be, we do that often with our clients to make sure it's fitting their vision. Materials, our materials are going to be extremely durable, so it would be a, a very, I know we have hurricanes here, but it would take a very extreme event for something to damage this and require that. Okay, great, good to know. Um, and then the last question I have, and then if after if you want to go into some about the community engagement, that'd be great. Um, but, you know, really what inspired you guys to apply to this and what inspired your design? Um, well, I, I'm super inspired um, just by 
the Jacksonville Beach community itself. Um, I'm from that community. Um, my maiden name is Proctor, and so I'm from the Proctor H Hardware, and that is exactly where I plan on sourcing all of our materials um, through my family there. And um, and I've already talked to my uncle there about sourcing those materials and everything. So I'm very passionate in person for Jacksonville Beach in itself. Um, and you know, I think we really want. To, we're passionate about um, representing the community, the residents that live there, right? That enjoy the space, that enjoy the animals, and um, and the, the things to do, the concert hall, and all of those things to do there at the pavilion. Um, we also, you know, not only want to represent the, the the community there, but also like what they want to represent to the people who come there. So I think that's also like, what do they do? Is they look for sharks to you, but you know, um, and so just we really want to connect with the community. Um, and we really want them to feel included in the mural. Um, I think that will, um, they'll just feel so excited about it and it'll bring so much joy to the people who live there. So I, I, I want to mention too, obviously not all the materials will come through a single vendor, but mm -hmm. there's multiple local vendors that we're going to work with, including yeah. Sunbelt and even including other local artists that we'd like to include in, you know, expand this opportunity as far and wide as we can within the community of Jacksonville Beach. Great. Yeah. Great. Um, do you how, have... How large, how large would this team be? Um, so my vice chair uh, had asked how large is your team and like kind of how large would the team be that would be working on this? So right now we have four muralists total on our team. Um, and for this project, we would outsource some some help, some other local artists um, as well to be more of a collaborative experience. So, um, so I think it could be up to. I think you know this I'm, is such an amazing opportunity to affect a landmark that's gonna like resonate. You know, it's gonna impact generations of people. And we feel so honored to be included in that, and we want to share that opportunity and build Jacksonville through the opportunity by building the art scene. And I think this is like a key example of how we can build Jacksonville Beach with, you know, spreading the wealth, so to speak. Yeah. And so it's hard to say at this time, we have, as Danielle said, we have four solid artists that we trust and we work with regularly. So that's two of us and then two other artists. And then, then it's hard to say, you know, we'll, we'll expand the opportunity probably to include some younger generation of artists. So that may be many, but probably professional artists. There would be more, fewer professional artists included. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I know that's correct. We've got a uh, former Fletcher art teacher on the committee, so. <laughs> oh, nice. That's great. <laughs> to, you know, obviously say thank you so much for this opportunity, um, as well as, you know, the community engagement aspect, you know, um, if we were to be awarded this, uh, we would, this is totally optional, but we kind of came up with this cool idea to have a celebration of the mural, um, and that could include, like, a food truck, uh, maybe even, like, some music, um, as well as um, maybe even a local, like, screen printer there, we were thinking, like, Bring your shirts, and then you can have like a an image from the mural, and it's like you know, and it's all it's like kind of something they can take with them, you know. And there's a bunch of ideas we have on how we could create an experience around the mural that's memorable for the people who live at Jacksonville Beach. So I think there's a couple of options we have ideas floating around for that um, community engagement. I want to um, add at this moment, you know, mm -hmm. that's really one of our core values is to be able to connect organizations with the people they serve and connect, you know, communities and their their representatives. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, I, I think that may be all that I have on. I think like, one more comment about that, that, you know. More, hang on a second, my vice chair. Do you have a question, Terry? Just a real quick, Sorry, real yeah. quick question. Um, we've been we've been discussing certain areas that are um, photo ops, photo points. What were we calling them? Um, selfie walls. Yeah, like a selfie wall. Selfie, like a 
selfie area where a person could, do you consider any part of this mural as having that element of a person taking a picture in front of it as a quote, selfie location? Did you get that? <laughs> yeah, so like a, a picture option? Yeah. Yes. Like, yeah, we actually, we, we thought about that in the design. So with the two pictures, if you're looking at the one from the corner that includes that little corner, corner wall that says, right it has the lifeguard stand. Yeah. Um, and so we were thinking that could either say Seawalk Pavilion or Jacksonville Beach, and that would be a really great opportunity. People could be like in the in the picture, essentially, in the scene right there. Um, and we were even thinking the lantana was also kind of a cool the flowers with the Florida on the corner. People may stand there too. I was, I was actually thinking the dolphin had that potential. Mm. The I, dolphin? I, I, yeah. I think yeah. there's several opportunities. Yeah. Yeah, we were trying to provide, you know, what do people do there? What do people want to do there? Um, what do they want to see? And how does that connect? How does it flow artistically in the design? Thank you. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, hey. we are going to um, sign off and uh, start the next yeah, one. Oh, sorry. Yes. <laughs> One last thing, yeah. we, we document everything. So yeah, as part of our service, we yeah. document and we share that, and that often, you know, we're often covered by the media, so that's one more way that the community then is able to connect to the mural and like really take ownership of it. Yeah. Yeah, great. Yeah. Good point, that's good. I forgot to ask mm -hmm. that good to know. Yeah. 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 If you're going to have a team, how's the insurance? Sure, so that's exactly my only question too. Yeah. Do they so, have? One of their questions, and we can maybe dive into this too at a later stage, but just having if a team, um, making sure you guys have got adequate insurance for the team in case, you know. Oh. If we bring in like a local artist that's not on your team, oh. will your insurance cover them? Right. Yeah, um, so right now we have um, a general liability insurance that covers our team at this time, that's but we can, we can extend that um, for this project, absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. Would you be 
looking at, and how soon would you be able to start? Mid-June, like June 15th? I think so. I don't have the calendar right in front of me, but hopefully we would be around that June 15th to June 20th time. Okay. June 16th. Okay. <laughs> I just need a little bit of uh, in, uh, timeline to get a lift delivered. Okay. And But I can get the other stuff done, you know, in, in the meantime. Perfect. Um, and then kind of what, what would be, um, you know, we know it's tentative and obviously weather dependent and things like that, but what would your mm -hmm. anticipated timeline for completion be? If we do all of it, uh, inclusive of the small addition, probably about three weeks. Okay. Depending, hugely depending upon weather. Uh, absolutely, especially this time of year. Yeah. Okay. And when you also dealing with drying of paint and to do the best product you want to let it dry for a while before we put the UV coating on it you don't have to but then you're dealing with moisture issues and it turning uh, cloudy so you don't want that so you need to let the work dry properly and then the graffiti coating will go on on top of that probably about eight feet up okay Perfect. and graffiti coating is a, a difficult to work with so the conditions have to be just right. Okay, good to know. Um, and then would you be willing to, as part of the contract, be available for a year post-completion just for any, you know, God forbid we have an accident? I would be. Or, or yeah, yeah, something. I'm, okay. Yeah, I'm out at the beach all the time training and doing stuff. Okay, perfect. Um, and then are you open to making minor edits or changes based on committee feedback if you were to be selected? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I want your feedback. I'm, I'm shooting blanks here to decide, you know, I submitted to others. So I, it's hard to know what people want. And I can paint anything you want as long as I know what you want. Okay. As well as add some uh, three-dimensional details to it. But those have to be highly discussed because there are ramifications to all the three-dimensional elements that you want to add. Well, uh, after reading the Call to Artists, uh, I saw that you wanted the surf theme, and I wanted something that people would invite them to walk to the beach, so the surfers are going to the beach. The design itself is reminiscent of that surfboard theme that you have at the entrance to Jack's Beach on the end of Beach Boulevard. So to carry that theme over, I felt was very important to the continuity of what you have designed for Jack's Beach in general. And then using common elements, you can see how these palm trees are cabbage palms. They're not just any palm trees, they're your palm trees. Yeah. Uh, put it on there to, you actually extend the size of the mural to include the background. Yeah. Uh, and compositionally, I use a lot of uh, the rule of thirds in designing. Everything there has to do with elements of Jacksonville Beach, the birds, the palms, and you know, you don't see a lot of little elements that I want to add because it's too small for a concept, and this just is a concept, so we have to go over it. You know, it's the thing where we sit down with a, a committee and say, okay, I sit down with a sketchbook and say, okay, now what are we going to do? What do you want? Just tell me. You know, and then it's all designed uh, with Fibonacci's numbers in and, and mind, which means it's perfect composition and rule of thirds. Nothing I can, I've painted my whole life, this is what I do. So I'm anxious to do it because I live here and uh, I get people saying, why aren't you painting murals at the beach? I'm like, I would love to. They just have to get me to do that. You know, I've painted murals all over Jack's. And may I share my screen? I'm sure. Okay, I'm gonna just show you a couple things I've done. Uh, I was disabled participant screen sharing. You have to fix that. <laughs> oh. um, I tell you, oh, I think you did you cover Scott, where's, here's my, Scott, come in the picture. This is my graphic artist. I look smarter than I am. Show your little face. Oh, it's blocking me yeah. out. Here, no. <laughs> so tell her how to share the screen. Oh, and I can do, uh, unfortunately, this is not my account. It's our, yeah, I was going to say, it's our communication manager account, and they've got them all. Oh. 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 Hold on, he's going to do something really quick. I was going to say, 
too, if you want to really quick when we hang up, shoot me an email with whatever images and things you were going to share, I can well, share. Well, there are a lot online. Can you put it in the background? I was looking to see if I can. We might be able to, if you give me two seconds, we yeah. may be able to do this. Yeah. Uh, but I'll go ahead and talk. Uh, you know, I taught at Florida State College for many years in the drawing and painting program and guided many students to doing things like this. And uh, so I love doing it. I love painting largely. My father always used to say, can't you paint anything small? I said, no, Daddy, I really can't. And so uh, a friend of mine, Will LaValle, who's an architect, I'm actually working with him on some projects now, said, can you fix this thing in St. Nicholas? It's not what we want. Oh, he did it. Look at him. He's so smart. He changed my background. So I'm going to kind of sit back. So y'all, can y'all see that? Yeah. I don't know if I scoot way down. I don't know if I can scoot that far down. <laughs> but um, this is what I did in St. Nicholas last year. You can see it has the UV coming. This one is uh, 16 feet by 125 feet. And I did it in two weeks. It's all of Florida shorebirds. Um, and it was designed to be able to take selfies in front of. People come and park their cars in front of. This is, when you do it, it's backwards. Yeah. See the, there's a big bird in the middle, an osprey. Yep. There it is. <laughs> People put, uh, park their cars in front of, yeah. and they love that. And I wanted to make sure on this mural that the uh, elements weren't too large so that people, when they do a selfie, you have X amount of room to deal with. Well, if you only have X amount of room, you can't do something huge because you're only going to get part of it. So that's counterproductive. I wanted to make sure on this design, can you switch to any of the other stuff? And I'll just keep talking. I wanted to make sure on this design that it was selfie worthy because, you know, again, that's what people do. And uh, I wanted to make sure it had continuity. I went out to the beach and looked at the other colors. When you design, you want to design with repetition and variation in mind. And so I pulled, there's a a beautiful mural across the street of a girl swimming. And I also, I turned one in of a swimming yeah. people too. But um, I decided to pull in some of those colors because you don't want, to me, you don't want a purple, a green, an orange, a, uh, uh, it's just too much, you know, to do all of that different stuff. Can you pull up the basketball court? Yeah. That one? Diversity Yeah. Um, but you want that continuity of design, that's very important. And so there's, a, I think it's Margaritaville, they have big palm trees down there. Um, yeah. Not quite sure they're cabbage palms, but that's okay. And, uh, but, uh, you know, I pulled in some of those colors to make sure we have a beautiful continuity of color of value and that we walk to the beach on this. We walk through the sand, it's going to walk right into the sand with the palm trees behind, behind the pavilion and in the mural so that it all runs, has continuity. This is one that everybody says, oh, you do, you know, all your stuff's so different. Well, this was for an elementary school. So, and it's a STEM school, and uh, there you have it, it was STEM. So that's why you have this, there are primary colors plus uh, the green inserted. The colors are light because they opted to, it, initially the design, they said, no, we're not gonna spend the money to seal it. I said, okay, we've got to have this so it fades out. We don't get to paint this thing black because it's going to fade to brown. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so anyway, we did that. Again, the, the concept of the bands are in Fibonacci numbers, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, etc. So it's perfect proportion. It's a proportion that the Greeks used in designing. So that's all there. Um, you know, in with regards to the, our beach mural, uh, you know, I have thoughts and concepts. Do we want to do some three-dimensional elements? Love to do that. I just want y'all to know the ramifications of that. Okay. You know, we can do some, you know, uh, bottom relief, which is low-release elements on it. Ooh, realize you, if you put metal on it, it's you're dealing with metal, power coating, it's going to rust from the inside out. You know, and you've got, you know, people pull on things that, you know, you've got to attach them very well. We can do that. It's designed to be able to do that if you guys opt to do that. But I just want you guys to know the ramifications. Okay. I've done um, different things for, you know, different concerns, and they have had trouble with the 3D elements, not by me, but by other people. Yeah. Scott, can you throw the same NES tracks one up? 
Um, this I just wanted you to see this because this is cool. I did one for NES Jacks, and this is on the bowling alley, and it's cool because I was, you know, what the best thing was. So and people, you know, they know my work, so they send me pictures. The blue angels flew over it. I'm like, oh, this is so cool. This is so cool. And that this is they actually give prints of this, and I have my best photographer ever, Scott shoots this in steps and also there will be uh i have a, a producer documenting my work for a, a documentary on public art and so this would be part of that and um if with y'all y'all's allowance of course yeah. and this is uh nas jacks and it was designed of course with the uh, elements of nas and it was interesting and fun to do they actually give a print of this which is on the bowling alley to dignitaries when they come. So that's kind of fun and all that stuff. You know, so the, you've got to, you've got to have a mural that works for everybody, makes everybody happy, it's pleasing to look at. You want their experience at the beach to be a happy one. Yeah. You know, and these waves and the curve millennial lines in this is very uh, inviting as, as opposed to harsh straight edge lines. So. Okay. I could go on, I'm a college sure. teacher. <laughs> Say we, okay. um, how many people is on her team? Who, who is she? Is it Five just her doing the mural, or two people, or three? So my vice and, chair asked. And would that be requiring um, scaffolding or anything like that? Yeah, I think you'll probably meet that. I think something about lists in the beginning, being able to get lists here. But so, you said how many people five, are on your team, and would yeah. you use lists or scaffolding to reach the higher? Oh, no. Oh gosh, no. I'd use a list. Scaffolding is problematic. Yeah. One, uh, people are going to. You do not want people climbing on this stuff. And so when I, I use a big boom lift, a scissor lift is nice. And if I have to, I think I can get my boom back in there. I have a boom that goes 40 feet up in the air. Uh, it just makes for better continuity of all those curves. When you start doing scaffolding, it's just, it's problematic. You're going to have kids playing on that, and that is a bad juju. Whereas my lift, I put all my paint that I don't want to take home, it goes in the lift and straight up 20 feet. So yeah, and a scissor lift is electric, okay. and um, you're gonna run into problems sometimes with the batteries and this and that, and it's very contained, you can't really, if you run it up, it becomes tippy sometimes, and you don't want that around people, so okay. I use a big boom lift. And then the only other thing you said, is anyone painting with you, or is it just you? I have one other person. One other person. Okay. I'm very fast. I I am. Okay. Like I said, that bird mural in St. Nicholas, and this was over Christmas. The owner came out and said, it's Christmas Day. I said, it's a work day. We're working. I'm getting this done. Yeah. So, yeah, it gets done fast. Okay. I mean, if you absolutely want more people, I can, but no. I'm, I'm a, to go along with Floyd, I'm very anal attentive, and I have to, yeah, it's got to be perfect. Okay. And it will be, you know, it's got to be perfect. Perfect. Well, uh, and I have insurance. I have the liability insurance. Good. On all accounts. Well, that is all we've got. Um, I'm going to jump off here and then jump on with our next. Like I said, you're one of seven. Okay, cool. Um, and we should hopefully have some answers to you guys by the end of this week, um, pending this uh, the committee makes a decision today. So I will talk to you soon. Okay, cool. Thanks Thank for you. your time. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Okay,
June 1st will be there. <laughs> well, next year, yeah, it's a, as soon as possible. Okay. Um, yeah, we don't need approval from anyone. This is our day job, so okay. yeah, we're ready to go. All right. That's Pat. Let's go. And then I'll oh, and you to ask how long yeah. it would take. Um, it's a pretty long walk. How tall is it? It's at 135 feet wide. It's a, just under 20. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. So you would be working with scaffolding. That's a little different than just you know in front of you. So I don't know, four, five days. You think, Jimmy? Um, well, uh, it, well, depending on how many, how much help we have. Plus, we use a different technique that helps us go faster because we use the kind of a Leonardo da Vinci top style that that uh, we do a push pin and, and box. So it goes on really, really quick. So it's just constant uh, painting and laying paint down for mm -hmm. several days. So. And it also depends on the weather. You know, if there's a hurricane there, then we'll take this another month. Let's hope not. <laughs> um, okay, great. And then um, for one year post completion, um, would you be available for maintenance purposes, whether that's to come out and maintain, God forbid something damage it, or work with us to find someone local who could um, repair and make, you know, maintenance? Yeah. Well, I'll get on a plane and come out there and touch it up. Okay. <laughs> And then, um, are you open to, if you were to be selected, making um, minor changes and edits to this concept, you know, when working with the committee? Like, as long as it's not a total redo, that's absolutely fine. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we love to be super collaborative, and um, we love to customize. It's part of the creative process for us, so we bring a lot of joy in working with other people, so very open. Okay, great. Um, and then the last question on our list of questions for you guys is just, you know, what inspired um, your design for this and kind of what made you want to fly? I can yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead, Jimmy. You, you talk. Uh, actually, the, the picture that y'all sent was, I thought it was an alley, and then we got on Google and looked, and that building is freaking amazing. <laughs> and we thought, and that's just a building that it was designed to look like a wave. And so that's when we started the wave part with the, the curved wall. And then now with your selection of the beach, it, now I can see kind of where you're coming with. It's kind of like the front before the waves. Mm -hmm. You have said something about the surfboard and bike rack. And then so you're kind of like running towards the beach with the surfboard, see the trees, and then the building is the waves. So I can see a whole scene just looking, not at the, at the wall, but looking through the wall. Yeah. And the building incorporate and cut the cement and all. Yeah. And the reason why we threw in the one with the trees also was just because of the height of it and just the thought of like the the top curving over the top uh, it lends well to a tree because you know trees kind of go over your head and shade you and so um it was just something that came really naturally to us and i love the concept of having a sunset or a sunrise at any point of the day so if you missed it yeah. turned around towards the beach cool. you don't miss it right here because it's right there for you so perfect let me um uh... yeah Sure. Um, all through time, uh, everybody thinks that everybody's uh, just a grand artist. Leonardo da Vinci was, but he also used uh, techniques like he did in the Sixteen Chapel and the Seamless because it's humanly it's not impossible to do that. So what he would do, it's a, it's a, a pounce type uh, a technique where you we print basically the whole mural out, or at least technical pieces of it. That you know, whenever someone sees a mural, they they don't they may not be an artist. But they know when something's right or wrong, just like the music. If the tone is off, I can't play, but I know when something's wrong. So this technique gives us pretty much 100% satisfaction, meaning this, this art that we're presenting to you is going to look like that on the wall because of the technique and the scaling and the sizing and everything. So that's what we do is we go in. Once the color palette is selected, we go in and we uh, designate the color palette that is particular for this mural, such as, let's say, the turquoise sky or the beige background. Those will be spot on uh, uh, colored uh, to the point where they're mixed exactly that. So they're actually like erasers, plus you're gonna get that tone all the way through, there's no mixing. So if there's a color there, we're gonna use that color. That's not gonna be dirty up or muddy. So with the two techniques together, you're gonna get, it's not gonna be a question when we get out there, it's gonna look like that when we leave. 
Yeah. And I think that the other part of that is just with the curvature of the wall, yeah. that takes a little bit more of a technical skill than just freehanding it. So that's where I'm definitely leaning into Jimmy because everything's like, he, he does it by map, not by sight. And I'm really good by sight, but um, there are some people that aren't going to be able to, it might mess with the perspective a little bit. Okay. So yeah. taking a technical approach to this will ensure that it looks right. Okay. And of course, uh, the, the colors will be always always have the same result. And that is, this is a beautiful piece. It was beautiful on the wall. But once it's painted, you're not even, it, it times 10 because the vividness and the actual shadows that cast. And it actually, uh, I mean, if, if, if it came like this, everybody would be happy. But every time using this technique, it comes out 10, 15 times even more beautiful because you're looking at saturation and the surrounding lighting and everything that starts blending with it. Yeah. Yes. Love it. We've got one more. Um, will they be open uh, to wrapping around to the seawalk side? Okay, so um, we saw something that um, we didn't think of, but on our boardwalk side that actually faces the ocean. Would you guys be open to a um, just basically continuing this around that side edge. It's not a very long piece. I want to say it's maybe 12 feet long. It's not massive, but just continuing it so it faces the boardwalk where people are. You know, since we're going to be there, we might as well. I don't think we have all the things and everything. And, okay. uh, we, uh, yeah. and then that just increases the engagement factor, right? Which yeah. is one of your primary objectives and goals. And, so we're fun, like we just want to have fun and, and, and knowing that people are going to be excited and love this, like that, that's just gravy right there. That's, that sounds great. Okay. Kelly, can you share? Yeah. Can you share a real quick question? Mm -hmm. um, on those, well, I love the painterly quality of the artwork. It's got a very, very, very much a painterly quality. Um, it's very nice. You mentioned the wave, and I'm assuming what we're talking about in the wave is the, the, the kind of bluish turquoise wave in the background, that it's, a, it's got a little bit of an abstract quality yeah. to it, am I correct? Yeah, right. Uh, would, would we be open to defining that wave a little bit more in the painting? Did you hear, did you get that? The kind yeah. of bits and pieces about like maybe defining a little bit more of a wave yeah. in that. You had mentioned that, yeah. I believe, if I, if, I thought, if I understood you correctly, that that in the background, there's, that's a wave behind the palm trees. Kind of an abstract design, but a wave, correct? Am I? We have a yeah. secondary. I was going to say, they, this is the group, if you remember, they submitted five. Four of the five were literal waves, and then this one is more of that beach scene. Yeah. So that's mm -hmm. what they were so talking about. Yeah. Was that yeah. Was their yeah. other concept that they yeah. presented that we didn't collect right. originally was a wave. I think mean, that's what he was referring to. Right. Well, you know, this one that we did select. Yeah. Just that blue area in the back, I mean, it looks, it's got the, element. so is that more of the sky on it, or is that the way it's got? I think that's, that's more the sky. That's the sky. The sky. But I think, too, we will insert that to the ocean, and we'll hash it out as a detail. Yes, behind her, right behind her. Right behind her. Yes. You know, you, when we go into this blindly, we, we're not mind readers, and so we're, yeah. we're, we're taking our skills based on the building's architecture, yep. and, uh, the feel of the city and the vibe, not Miami, but uh, Jacksonville style. And, you know, you never know. It's like that shooting art in the dark and hitting a balloon. You don't really know. So that's one of the reasons why we put so much because uh, when it comes down to it, you really don't know what's in someone's head. So you go out yeah. what you like and we're inspired to be paint, inspired to paint too. Yeah. 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 No, I mean, I love the painting quality here.
was, it was the sky because I, I interpret it as uh, maybe a storm Burn, in the distance right? on that left okay. side that it just made into a clearing. Okay. You know how we have some fronts yeah. come through? It was very, like you said, it was a painterly quality. Yeah, I like, I like that quality. But I didn't see the waves. I see. It was the sky. Well, we see waves in everything. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we do. I was like, so bad. Okay. But you're right. I mean, we, we, did, we didn't choose one that had more waves. Yeah. But, but I, I mean, I like it. And I like the way they tie the palm trees in and, and the, uh, the colors, the painting style. I know I see two of them right on the corner. Yeah. Just yeah. changes to the 
actually, we, um, we actually applied to a pre I think it was called the Tate Project yeah. in Jacksonville Beach. Yeah, so uh, we were really interested in working with you guys. Like Ernest just said, I'm his wife, I'm Hillary, and I help him with your projects. Um, we're from South Florida, so I think we like resonate with um, obviously animal life and you know, the beaches, just, just also being from South Florida. So um, Ernesto used like native wildlife, like he does in a lot of his murals, to kind of connect the community back to nature, and uh, we just thought this would be a good marriage of his talents and your community. And uh, something and, about the surfing. Oh yeah, the comment mentioned um, like you could tie it back to surfing. So yeah. So the wave, the wave is the major tie-in with that. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Kind of like riding the wave. There you go. I probably will take one person with me. Okay. Um, it's, we typically travel together. Okay. My wife and I. Um, but yeah, we would. Bring yeah, yeah. Okay. Just okay. to rush that a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Do you guys have any um, questions at this time for us? Yeah. Okay. Um, any questions? No, I don't think so. Okay. So mostly wall paint or spray paint? Mostly wall paint or spray paint? Um, I've stayed away from spray paint in okay. the past Good. year, so um, it's going to be mainly uh, acrylic, acrylic okay. house paint.
flows very well. If it goes, you know, it doesn't have stops. Oh, I love that. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, I've got one in seven. Wow. Yeah, but not so good as that one. Oh, this one I thought was so cool because it's almost like he used this palm tree here as like the bird. I mean, it looks really cool. Ernesto? Oh, yeah. Cool. Holy. Yeah. I didn't yeah. see all that. Yeah. So she, she, she should go back to the top of the school, man. It's, yeah, he's, 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 he's got mean, skills, man. Yeah, I mean. So, it's, so. And he's done a lot. So, like, he painted a lot for the actual University of Florida. Um, like, these are all at UF. And then, I mean, so. He's like that bull. I can just imagine that our thing going over our head, the way that wraps around the Yeah. Corner. Yeah. You know, and I might as well say it now, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of good work in there, but when you're dealing with someone who's just got a level better, yeah. it's almost a shame that somebody's good work is just going to come in second. Right. Right. It's, it's the way the competition yeah. is this time. Well, yeah. there's, there's a lot of seconds. Yes. I mean, it's not that they're no, dead. there's it's just a lot of It's like there's no the real losers. They're yeah. all just... This you think person that down from 70 plus. That's right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Okay. Well, when you look at his, the caliber of his work, it, it really does. It really does separate. Yeah. 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 Now, the only thing I will say, keep in mind, is that he obviously said he couldn't start until August. Yes. I mean, is yeah. it a deal breaker? Is it not? You know. That's, well, that's why I'm glad I'm not the one that has to make that. I mean, I don't yeah. vote. Just um, unfortunately, yeah, someone's going to have to do this yeah. like that. We also have a big fault here. Yeah. If, because this is a large piece and it's, and it's viewed from a distance, if there's a wall built over here, which we've got a vacant lot right now, then the depth we mentioned that. of being able to look at this piece becomes much, much more than yeah. And, and did we so not at that point? That, yeah. that could eventually be, or it will be built. It well, every, be built. every artist we've talked to so far is more than willing with an absolutely answer they gave us that they would, you know, okay. be open to, to modifications and such. And yeah. I think we discussed that when we first saw his work, yeah. um, that he, if he, like, uh, scaled it down we and have the same power though that we see right here. It does. Well, I think so. I mean, he could add more waves if it were, even instead of the, the one wave, if he scaled it down, he could add more. I, you know what I'm struggling with? I mean, I'm struggling, I mean, you know, the couple that are from here, um, Ian and Daniel Cleary, that I'm struggling because they had a, not as painterly quality as this, because this is. International, um, but but they brought in a lot of elements from here, from the city, from Jacksonville Beach, and that was the thing. That, you know, that I understand that too, and I like about we're going to have to discuss that. Right. Yeah. The problem I had with them was this community involvement thing. That that was a vague. Well, you'd like that. Yes, but <laughs> how many moving parts are they talking about? Uh, it just well, it's got, it, they've got to make it work. I, mean, I know, I know. <laughs> I do like the community engagement aspect, I will say, from like our perspective and like with our working with our communications manager and a lot of the things that we've been trying to do, I think that community engagement part, that was, I mean, I think they hit it right on the nose. That was, that was big. You think that would be good? Or I do, I think it would you be great. You think that would be a plus? Absolutely. To have the community And engagement. already having a oh, local wow. presence. And they seem to want to do that.
saying that, you know, I'm, I've got a good saying confidence um, in, in the local couple that brought in the elements of the. Uh, oh, in sourcing it all locally. Yeah. That was another really unique yeah. part. I like that as well. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't, I don't think I don't think that should drive our decision, but I think it's it, it a perk yeah. of sure. our decision. Something to yeah. Yeah. But I don't I think that the design should drive our decision. And no doubt. A, a world class, we're not we've got to think world class design here. World class, not Florida half can you know, class or right. Yeah. Right. Not elaborated. Right. So like you would see in where were you in Ecuador? What yeah. you would see there, what you would see in, you know, in Brazil, what you would see anywhere. It's got to be that standard. <clears throat> Come on, Chad, we got one. I just don't know about two here. more. I mean, we've got three, don't we? We've got two, two more left. This one and one more. Oh, okay. Uh, 
another that that's something that we will that we will see if um like after they they get a decision you know right, right, right. and we will find out okay we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at the time but we're definitely available okay perfect um and then one of the things that we have been asking is you know are you willing to as part of our contract be available for one year after completion for just kind of if there's a need for minor touch-ups or small things here and there yeah we are here and we and we are like a quality audience that i'm sure that okay. the work is going to well done okay well you know everything going outside you know the trick is giving it a really good clear code, possibly two, two coats. Okay. That that gives the mural, you know, uh, protection from the sun rays and the elements. Okay. And you know, a, a mural could have a, a lifespan. You know, I mean, it could be like five, ten years, and and maybe maybe have to repaint it. Five years old. I'm sure the or the quality of it. Sure, come on, let's bring it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not a problem. Okay, perfect. Um, and then Actually, uh, if you see like, the proposal that we did, we extend a little bit more on the, uh, like, on the, on the design to give it a little bit of, of uh, like, better uh, design on the whole pavilion. Sorry? I love going big. <laughs> That's a good answer. Uh, are the most inspirational for everyday people, you know, because people are going to walk by it, they're going to feel inspired, they're going to feel the art energy, the colors. So painting outside and painting big is always amazing, you know? I work a lot inside, I've done 100 foot murals, I've done big murals as well. I always enjoy outside the most. Okay. Do you guys have any questions that, um, for us, like I said, I'm here and then I've got five committee members, you can't see them, but they're out on the floor, they can see you on the screen. Um, do you have any questions for us? Um, not to be honest, um, like, like we are waiting for, for, for that good news um, and take it from there. Uh, okay. We are we get inspired to do the, the design. Uh, we really work with different uh, things that are in the area yeah. uh, to make uh, a belonging for the people that come by around. Okay. That's so cool. <laughs> I think it's like an Airbnb. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> lifespan of a mural and okay. that is for real yeah, yeah. yeah. everyone else is sort of like yeah. 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 mentioned that five year, five yeah. Yeah. and that's five a for real year. thing yeah. and this guy's like yeah that's that's it's why it's five ten years and you're gonna have to come back and do something else or yeah. it, okay. yeah. i like that yeah. but it's I like that guy's honesty yeah i gotta say though they're uh, they're concepts they also if you see over here they've included these music notes that trail off
guys? Yeah. This is our final one, is the guy that's located out in California, um, and he is the one that's kind of from the sand looking up. But while we've got a minute. And with his, and with his submission, he was the one who was doing something with the Jack scene. Yeah, oh yeah, thank you. Right, so they've already, I don't know if it's <coughs> dancing, wrapping around the facility, or that's what, right. but in his yeah. submission, he is. I remember that. That he had said that he's already been commissioned by them. Which is neither here nor there. These are the yeah. last folks? Yeah, so yeah. they've done like these big, I mean, they've even like done intricate work in cool. pools. There's a selfie wall. Yeah. Oh. There's wings. Saw the saw the guy selfie wings. <laughs> Angel. Yeah. Angel wings. Yeah, they have that on the back of the dog plate across the street. Yeah, so uh, yeah. Yeah. They, they, evidently they say that gets people do uh, <coughs> take selfies there all the time. <coughs> they do. There's a pop art quality to these guys. Yeah. yeah. See, okay, and again, this is that this is a community art day where they come in, they draw it out like everyone's talked about, but then on this one they literally put numbers and have the community come mm -hmm. and physically fill the numbers. And they did this up in uh, Mayport yeah. a couple years ago, a year or two ago. And they've got some really pretty colors. Travels around. I've seen the actual sculpture. Yeah, they drive it yeah. around. What? what so how can, can they do it? What event was that for? I don't know. They had it in one of the sections. But how can they do? How can they do? Take credit for doing it? Yeah, that's. I'm that's, sure they were hired by somebody that has rights to the photograph. Yeah. Yeah, we can have more time. We, yeah. We're going to need some time. Hello. 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 Uh, how are you? Good. Um, I am Taylor. I'm with the city of Jacksonville Beach. I'm the one that's kind of been corresponding back and forth um, with you. And I'm here in council chambers. I'm behind the computer. And then our five-member art committee is out on the floor, so they can see you up on the big screen. Um, and I know we got started a little early, but you are our last of the seven interviews today. And so we figured we'd just jump into Totally. Um, so I do murals all over the world. Um, I do a lot of beach murals, so actually my favorite murals to do. And um, I use Nova Color, which is a, a company that's designed specifically for murals. And I do a lot of research to make sure everything is art is archival. And I only use the pigments that will not fade over time. And then I use multiple coats of exterior varnish uh, to protect against any you know salt air. Um, yeah, so I've had a lot of beach murals that have been up for like seven years, and the only maintenance that, that ever needs to happen is just um, occasional cleaning. Um, after a few years, it's always recommended to change the varnish and put a fresh coat on. Okay. Uh, I, I also do a, a anti-graffiti coat too, so if it's ever tagged, the graffiti can be washed off. Definitely. 
Um, so I think mid July would be perfect for me. Um, and I, uh, from your other side, I could paint um, in about two to three weeks. Okay. Um, and if you need it done faster, I'll just hire a, a bigger crew. I have like five assistants that are on call that I work with. So uh, if the deadlines are ever, you know, fast, I just call them up and it gets done faster. Okay. Um, yeah. Perfect. So. Yeah, that's, that's, that's perfect. That actually saved me a lot of uh, work trying to find somebody uh, that is local. Because I always do that any, uh, anyway. So okay. if something is, it's, it's always good to have a fellow artist that's in the area. Um, I always fly, fly out too, uh, just to check out on my work, but it's good to have someone that's local, you know. Okay. Uh, and then I know that you kind of already answered this in the submission, but just to keep everything fair, um, are you open to working with the committee to finalize? Definitely, yeah. So the concept that I shared uh, for the uh, RFQ, for the RFP, sorry, uh, mm -hmm. is meant to be customized. So as soon as I'm uh, selected for this, I'm going to fly down and take photos of everything specific in Jacksonville Beach. Um, I was recently selected by the NFL to do the new Miller uh, Electric Stadium. Yeah. Uh, so I'm doing like a 412 foot mural there. And wow. um, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's going to be like the, the biggest piece on their new stadium, and it, it's in the same um, style as uh, the design that I want to do for Jacksonville Beach. So I figured that it's going to be um, like more, um, basically more branding, more uh, recognizability for both murals, uh, since they both have a signature style, that upside down uh, perspective. Sure. Um, so I, like I said before, I love doing beach murals. Um, for for me, I am a figurative artist that does murals, which is kind of a rare thing. So doing a beach mural gives me a good chance to show off those figurative skills, and then also have a fun environment that is seen from a unique per perspective. Yeah. Um, so, like I, I, I like to create multiple viewpoints that kind of work together to tell a cinematic story. And the beach is always a really awesome place to find those elements, to find characters that are, you know, either playing like beach volleyball or sports and, and, uh, and birds and waves and surfers. And there's just so much to draw from uh, when I do a beach mural. So that's why I'm always excited to do that. And of course, like I said before, the fact that it's in Jacksonville is really exciting for me because I have that big piece yeah. on the stadium, so I think it'll 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 vibe off of that really really well. Yeah. Um, committee members, do we have any additional questions, or is everybody comfortable? Uh, you said five assistants. Yeah. That he could pull in. Yes. Is he doing the main work himself. Uh, so our chairman said that you know you mentioned having five assistants you could pull in, but are you doing the main? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I just use uh, assistants for like the beginning stages, like blocking everything out, uh, and then I, I finish everything. So it's all those like. Sounds great, thank you. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.
No that. pressure. <laughs> um, Terry, my name is I did not mean for this to sound as silly as it did, but I told everybody to see where we all fall, pull out your three favorite without discussing, and then let's have a discussion and see if our top three overlap. So, these three, like that's you want to numerically rate the top three. Okay. Right. Do you want us to numerically rate the three? Or just I don't think we have three? to with this. Yeah, okay, I think in this okay. case, let's just grab three, then we can really no, you've dive got, You've got the plan. Yeah. And by we, I mean you guys. <laughs> Thanks. Seventy-seven. Yep. Okay. Seventy-seven. Sorry. Um, another one. Mm -hmm. The top three was Ernesto. Yep. And then the one that I actually gave the highest score to for a variety of reasons was the uh, Ann and Daniel Clary, the local. Um, because of the vibrant colors, the subject matter. Um, okay. it, it did go into uh, a single part of your thing and go into a lot of detail. One thing we want to keep in mind is from Ernesto, I believe it was. was it one of them, um, I don't know, they used it. Well, let's just give our oh, yeah. move, let's move 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 our flourish. Move, move the flourish. Um, about every six, seven years from yellowing. So we want to keep that in mind. Well, that's, right. what the, that's what the last guy did. He said it needs to be reapplied every three right. years. Right. We haven't heard that. We haven't heard that. From that. anybody. That's so that's, and that's valuable information. Super valuable. You know, and, and when Tim, when, when he, you were interviewing him, I thought to myself, you know, even if this guy doesn't get picked, and it's, this should be, this should uh, be meaningful for all the artists we interview. We can pick from each one of them to make things our questions can get part of our technical. curriculum, if you will, yeah. for the next, because that's valuable info. Man. That's very valuable info. That was a huge, if you go back and release the artist, fresh artist, to be yellow now for about seven years. Or at least that's what Timothy's, yeah, Timothy's. He uses no colors, which is a special mural painting. And Thomas, the first one, also said they used no colors. Yeah. Right. I had yeah. a note about you. They right. both said that, so that was interesting. And several coats of the urethane. Yeah. Um, this is a very qualified group of people. Yep. I feel this yep. is. 
But anyway, those were my, uh, I didn't get off the subject there. No, it's okay. Um, Trey, what you got? I actually went the other way. Thomas Agron. Okay. 429 Ernesto. Okay. And um, honestly, artistically speaking, I liked the painterly quality of Brines in Fort Worth, Texas. I thought that had possibilities. But my third choice was a just a mind boggler because yeah. I liked the last guy. I didn't particularly like the the style and the perspective. I thought it was a bit disconnected, but you know, every one of these artists said that they could tailor what we need. Yeah. You know, and, and really what we're people. looking at is their style yeah. so that we might tailor it. Okay. Um, but artistically speaking, that's what you're going to get from there.
everybody else kind of got like two sporadically thrown throughout there. Oh. Huh. Well, I think even the Confederates would probably be able to change the design of anything we, you know, wanted. And and they live, right they, I will say, they live out here. Yeah, right. I know. Yeah, I know That's we tough. Should, you know. That's tough. Um, but I mean, are we, are we not supposed to select from what they gave us? I mean, the design only. only. Well, no, we, we, have, we have the flexibility of altering. Change. Of course. I mean, we, and we did last time. Yeah. We did last time. I and it's, it's style that we're looking at and availability. Yep. And Here, let me pull up there because we looked, let me be fair, we looked at Ernesto's website. Let me check on the website. Yeah, this is a this, tough one, man. Uh, that's why I say it goes back to the scoring where you can just go five, three, two, and <laughs> then say, okay, well, look, that's the points. And then Jack told people we've already said we should get an extra point or two, so yeah. it even swings it back to death. Mm -hmm. All right, so here's Ian and Danielle. And they put together all the group that was doing all the stuff in Land Beach and the mural weekend and all that. They yeah. actually put that together. Correct. They were. They were working with the other group, the Rev, uh, the word Revolution or whatever it is. World yeah. Revolt. Yeah, World Revolt. They were, oh, I didn't know that. I think they were working with them to to get the murals done. For uh, art, uh, art, uh, art, uh, art Republic or whatever it is. Yeah, I think they were all collaborating on trying to get. So this is them. Yeah, this is all them. I think they were collaborating that try to get together something, but. Get the state to pay some money to paint underneath the bridge. Up this here. is not working right. for me. Yes, I read about that somewhere. This is um, quality is lacking in this. I mean, I like. I like the concept and everything that they got going on the I mean, team, the community, but the, not, uh, the quality is lacking. <laughs> the, compared. To her, we're, we've got. I mean, that's just the pro the point I was making before. It's yeah. these seven muralists are just really good. Yeah, but if we go down between, but I mean, the skill level of Ernest yeah, is still good. above. Yeah. Yeah. You pointed it out earlier. It's right? above everybody. We're, we're, we're choosing among I mean, very qualified folks, and on any know. other given day. They could have been selected, say, if Ernesto hadn't <laughs> submitted his work. Yeah. You know, well, it's yeah, just. Then you've got, it's just, then you've got four words. <laughs> and he just needs four yeah. touches. That's a that very painterly, but beautiful piece. Beautiful. Yeah. And it's a shame that but somebody's got to. Uh, but I don't think we've got Ernesto and Ian and Danielle. We can talk correct? about any of them you guys want. I mean, truly, any of the seven, if, if y'all yeah. want to. That's what we're here for. Here in circles. That's what we're here for. Yeah. Here we go. I go think on. we can reach a consensus based on just reasonable it's just, it's just information and expectation. But the only thing That's only, I mean, Ernesta is beautiful. And the, the paint of the quality and just the, the, the quality. It's riveting. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's emotional. But yeah. Well, that's used the curve as well without, you know, yeah. the birds on the left hand side and the wing probably sticking out over the curve. Yeah. But then the A, I mean, the, but then it doesn't really say Jack's speech, yeah, true. Um, yeah. which Amy and Danielle do. Yeah. You know, they really incorporate the elements. Yeah. yeah. And it, it, that just depends on how much that weighs. If, if we really want to, if we really want to incorporate these elements in it, and the selfie part of it, you know, is, is the doll, little face of the doll. Yeah. You can see people standing in front of the golf and, you know, and having a picture taken or something Ooh, like that. Doing too fast. Okay. If that makes a difference. Um, if I may, just, you know, total staff perspective. I think there's two very different scenarios for both of these. And I think um, speaking towards the community aspect of it, we're going to get two very different murals, very different reactions. There, it, it all depends on what path we want to go here. If we go with Ernesto, you know, we are going to literally get a world-class muralist out here that's going to draw worldwide attention, has a massive following. However,
This one? Your concern is that you won't be able to see it from far enough away to get the impact. That's my point. If, if, and to, um, whereas the, a, another design would be smaller sections in any part you saw. Right, I think it's going to be that it would be, you know, I guess part of the question would be what would Ernesto do on the seawalk, on the, on the boardwalk side? Sure. Right. right. But anything. Yeah. Sure. If, if he's chosen, we have a schedule. How does this, what does it look like if you extend? 
Okay, right. now this is this is what I was see now. That girl holding the surfboard, she is not life sized by any stretch. No. So she's larger than life. It's yeah. it's a giant wall any artist is going to put. That porpoise is pretty huge. Yes. It has to. Because by the work the definition of the size that they had to occupy in that mural. So yes, we're gonna get larger than life-size figures. I'm just, here's my point, um, and honest to God, I am so all about community stuff, and I mean, that's how I've lived my, yeah. my entire existence here. Yeah. But to get the quality of a guy like Ernesto, and this may be the only chance to, to have that quality because, you know, who knows? I mean, that's what that's what Taylor said. You got really, you got two, the, two, two decisions. You absolutely. are world class muralists to paint a mural for Jacksonville Beach, or you want to, you know, a, a, let's not let's not degrade it at all. They're, no, they're no, very, no, very good. no. This is and good. All this is unity, but, but they're two different. Looks and yeah. yeah. Well, and it's going to um, elicit a very different response. Yeah, I right. love the colors, yeah. the flow. I mean, that's. Oh, it definitely will. Yeah. You, you know, I mean, you're going to have uh, with either direction that is, it, we go, it's going to have a really, really positive response from a certain group, and then, you know, some people are going to be upset that it's not local, and then some are going to be like, "Wow, we have a yeah. world renowned."
So this brings us.